Okay, I think we're all set to go. Call this meeting of the Common Council to order. Roll call, please. Alderman Kraus. Here. Horn. Here. Fire. Here. Peachy. Here. Miller. Here. Brandle. Here. Lars. Here. Here. Thank you. This time we'll entertain public participation. Anyone wishing to address the council may do so. We ask that you come to the podium, state your name and address, and reason for appearing. Seeing no one, we'll move on to proposed ordinance number 9-19 in an ordinance to amend <coughs> section 265-4 concerning winter parking. Alderman Brando, please. Honorable Mayor Opperman, fellow council members, citizens of Jefferson. City of Jefferson Ordinance 9-19, an ordinance to amend paragraphs 265-4 concerning winter parking, section 1. 265-4 shall be amended as follows. 265.4, parking restrictions. A, winter parking on all streets in the city from December 1st through March 31st. Parking shall be permitted from 6 p.m. daily and shall be in effect until 5.59 p.m. the following day, 24 hours. B, on even uh, calendar days, vehicles shall park on the even side of the streets, which has even houses, until 6 p.m. C. On odd calendar days, vehicles shall park on the odd side of the street, which is odd house numbers, until 6 p.m. D. After 6 o'clock p.m. daily, vehicles shall be required to move to the alternate side of the street based on the following day's date. E. Excepting on those streets and areas where parking is prohibited between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. or within the limited parking zone, which shall include designated 30-minute, 1-hour, and 2-hour parking areas, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., vehicles shall obey posted erected parking regulation signs. F. If any vehicle shall be parked in violation of, these subs of this subsection, the police department shall ticket the vehicle and may order it towed from the street at the owner's risk after the vehicle has been ticketed. The fine for violating this subsection shall be prescribed by the municipal court bond in effect, plus the towing charge for each occurrence. Section 2, this ordinance shall take effect after passage, publication, and attestation as required by law. I so move. It's been moved, sir. Second. Second. Second by Alderman Miller. In discussion? Chief. Uh, Alderman, did it say December 1st or November 1st? December. We're looking for November 1st. No, no, no. November to December. No, so, so this is, I, I can explain it for a second. So the, you, you guys can recall that we had this ordinance in front of us a couple months ago. Um, when that ordinance got placed in, the only thing we talked about was the times uh, that went from the midnight to 6 p.m. One of the things that in, inadvertently got put in that um, ordinance change was changing from December 1st to November 1st. Um, so after it, and it didn't get caught when we, um, approved the ordinance. So, um, chief and I brought that back to the regulatory committee, um, a few weeks ago and kind of asked if they were aware that that got changed and, and the intention was to leave it, um, four months of alternate side parking from December to, um, March 31st. So, um, this is the second reading. We brought it back essentially to change the winter parking for the <coughs> ordinance that got approved a couple months ago back to what um, we've continuously had of December 1st to March 31st. I apologize. I have 30 years of flip back, and I'm sorry, December 1st is what it was. I apologize. Sorry. And all of our signs already say December 1st to April 1st. Correct. Correct. And just to be clear, it's 6 p.m. Yes. on that day is for the opposite or the next day. So during the day, Father, yes. so during so the you're, day it's not at six. You park on the even side till 6 p.m. You get home from work, you park on the other side. Right. And then the next day is the odd day until 6 p.m. And we will, we're going to put out a lot of educational materials, talk to people, and we'll use a very <coughs> wide discretion to try and educate folks and get them up to speed on it once and for all. So Correct. this is alleviating the, the, the 12 at night and 12 correct yeah. exactly. so it's six o'clock after you get home from work other side so you're yep. good for today so if the day ends on the 31st and then the first so is they just stay on that side yep. just oh, correct side. okay right. correct okay. we'll have examples too phil and i mm -hmm. put together a little yeah. a little sheet for people to read so we'll put that out on our public our social media okay right. it's a big deal 
Any, it's a big deal. You want it right. Are there any other questions or comments? Hearing none on a roll call vote, please uh, signify by saying aye if you approve, no if you uh, do not. As Sarah Alderman. calls your name. Alderman Horn? Aye. Fire? Aye. Peachy? Aye. Miller? Aye. Randall? Aye. Hart? Aye. Tully? Yes. <coughs> Unanimous. Thank you. Resolution number 37, tonight's consent agenda. Alderman Tully, please. Thank you, Mayor. City of Jefferson, Resolution Number 37, be it resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that the consent agenda for September 17, 2019 is hereby adopted. A. Vouchers payable for August 2019 in the amounts of $665,208.10. Payroll summary for September 13, 2019 in the amount of $168,434.75. B. School District Facility Use Agreement. C. Licenses as approved by the Regulatory Committee. We had op three operators' licenses, two for Quick Trip and one for Playa Vallarta. And item two, special Class B licenses. There were none. I would so move. It's been moved, sir. Second. Second. Second by Alderman Lars. In discussion. We have the council minutes from September 3rd. skipped over that but I would like to add that in council minutes from the September 3rd 2019 of the Common Council thank you Alderman Horn okay and it's been moved and seconded you agree with that addition as well any other questions <coughs> or comments hearing none all in favor please signify by saying aye as Sarah calls your name no if you're opposed Alderman Fire. Aye. PG. Aye. Miller. Aye. Randall. Aye. Lars. Aye. Tully. Aye. Kraus. Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. Resolution number 38, a resolution authorizing the award of a contract for the Rock River Landing Elizabeth Street Utility Extension. Alderman Miller, please. Thank you, Honorable Mayor, fellow council members, and citizens. City of Jefferson, resolution number 38. Whereas the City of Jefferson received four bids from contractors interested in in completing the Rock River Landing Elizabeth Street Utility Extension. And whereas the value of the lowest bidder is included in the following table. Forest Landscaping and Construction Incorporated, the base bid was $145,085. Alternate A was $62,340. Alternate B was $36,360. Total base and alternates was $243.70. $243,785. Whereas the overall bid included a scope of work for the extension of utilities in Elizabeth Street adjacent to the proposed Rock River Landing Park, <clears throat> including the extension of water mains, sanitary laterals, and storm sewer. And whereas engineering and construction expenses for this project are tax increment district number five, cost eligible reimbursements. And whereas the city intends to issue general obligation notes and to utilize the proceeds from said notes to reimburse the city's general fund or capital improvement fund for funds advanced to construct the infrastructure improvements. And whereas R.A. Smith and the city engineer reviewed the project bids result, recommend award of the base bid and alternates A and B to force landscaping and construction Incorporated as a low qualified bidder in the amount of $243,785. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that it herein improves the Forest Landscaping and Construction Incorporated bid for the Rock River Landing Elizabeth Street Utility Extension in the amount of $243,785, and further directs and authorizes the City Administrator to execute any contract or document associated with the above action on behalf of the City of Jefferson upon the review and consent of the City Attorney. Be it further resolved by the Common Council that it intends to utilize the proceeds from a general obligation note issuance to reimburse the general fund or capital improvement fund of the City of Jefferson for funds advanced to facilitate the construction of the improvements. I so move. It's been moved. Is there a second? <clears throat> Second. Second by Alderman Horn. In discussion. I can uh, explain this, Mr. Mayor. Um, so on the screen, I've got an overview of uh, Elizabeth Street. Um, 
This doesn't exact, exactly show the utilities, but it's about the uh, the best drawing that I've got that shows the overall extension of the road. Um, again, this is uh, located east of uh, the proposed Rock River Landing Park, the Joint City County Park, um, at the location of the former County Highway Shop. Um, essentially, what we're trying to do is get started with the project in 2019. Uh, so far, the work that's been completed has essentially been some uh, demolition and grading created, um, completed by the Jefferson County. Uh, the next step at this point is to install utilities. Um, and this is not a full utility construction that's needed throughout the entire length of the road. Essentially what we're doing is extending water main from Wilcox Street uh, to be able to serve uh, the commercial property located uh, south of the park as well as the um, proposed bathroom that will be located on the uh, um, on the park property. Uh, we've also got um, storm sewer uh, within the roadway, um, a culvert crossing, um, as well as sanitary laterals. Um, forest landscaping was a low bid, and what we'd anticipate is that they would start work um, on or around October 1st, um, complete their work um, by early to mid-November, um, and then the remainder of the work uh, to be completed this year would be by Jefferson County, which would be essentially putting in the road base um, for the length of the road between Wolcock and Perner Street. The remainder of the road uh, would be completed in uh, 2020 along with um, the park project after that bids out as well. Any questions? For the, uh, I do have a question for the extension of the water main sanitary laterals and storm sewer are they actually putting in the pipe and everything for that correct okay the uh the sanitary is actually just laterals we already have uh, existing main that goes through the property so uh what we're putting is laterals for the uh, the bathroom and the uh um and the commercial property uh the water main is uh extension and laterals extending from wolcock in an earlier meeting, I had asked uh, as far as the utilities, the electrical, have we worked with them that they will put that in at the same time, or is that in the same trench? Or uh, that work won't be completed in 2000, until 2020. Um, typically what happens is the uh, once a road is cut in and the um, uh, prior to the curb going in, the electrical get, will get cut in by Jefferson Utilities. Um, and then light poles will be um, installed after the curb is installed. So that's a 2020 project, and we have coordinated with Jefferson Utilities on the planning for that. Good. All right. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? This is approved unanimously by the Suits Committee. Thank you. And also by finance. Thank you as well. If there are no other questions or comments, all in favor of approval of resolution number 38, please signify by saying aye as Sarah calls your name. No, if you're opposed. Alderman Peachy. Aye. Miller. Aye. Randall. Aye. Lars. Aye. Tully. Aye. Krause. Aye. Horn. Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Thank you. Well, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn to closed session pursuant to section 19.85, parent 1E of the Wisconsin State Statutes to discuss the purchase of a property. So moved. It's been moved by Alderman Peachy. Second. Second by Alderman Brandel. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. We are adjourned. We will uh, reconvene, uh, but just to adjourn, we will not be doing any more business this evening. Thank you.